are truly, amen, blessed to be here before you in the house of the Lord. One more time here at St. Timothy Tabernacle. So we are just going to put our hands together and bless the Lord. Here at St. Timothy, amen, we truly thank and praise all of you for joining us live on Facebook and those that are joining us live here in the sanctuary. We are going to go to the throne of God, amen. We are just going to come before him in his presence, but I tell you, I'm not a songbird, but if I did have a song, amen, 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 pastor, I ain't gonna do it, amen, but my song will be, this is the day that the Lord has made. You all, he has done so many great things for us, and we just thank and praise God for this day. Amen. We can't control what happened in the past, but you know what? We know who holds our future. So I'm just going to ask, amen, each and every one of you that are here in the sanctuary, even if you are at home, amen, just put your mind on the Lord and, and just place yourself here in the sanctuary. We're just going to ask each and every one, stand, oh God, as we go to God. Hallelujah. Most kind and gracious Father, Lord, we thank you on today, oh God. We come to you, oh God, with thanksgiving in our hearts, oh God. We come to you with a prayer praise on our lips oh god we come to you with a clean heart expecting a mighty move of your spirit oh god lord we ask that you rain down on us oh god oh god lord we just ask that you fill us with your holy spirit the more oh god fill us with your joy fill us with your goodness oh god fill us with your compassion but most importantly god fill us with your love oh god that we may love others right oh god that we may be able to talk to one another right that we may be able to come together oh god and love you the more oh god lord we just asking for a mighty move of your spirit oh god in the land on today oh god we are asking oh god hallelujah not only are we asking oh god but we are believing and we are trusting in you oh god because there's none like you oh god how you spoke all things into existence oh god but how you took dust and formed man oh god and lord you said in your word is there anything too hard for me hallelujah and god we know there's nothing too hard for you oh god we know that there is nothing impossible with you oh god in the name of jesus hallelujah how we praise you on today oh god how we thank you god because we know that we serve the true and living god hallelujah and there's none like you lord oh god hallelujah oh god we thank you oh god on today oh god oh god because you are i am that i am you are alpha and omega you are the beginning and the end oh god oh god so we lift our hands to you god oh god we praise your name god we give you glory oh god because you have been our provider you have been our protector you have been our way maker oh god you are the keeper of our souls oh god hallelujah oh god how you keep us oh god hallelujah oh god none can do us like you do oh god oh god and lord we just thank you oh god father god we want to take time out to praise you and to thank you oh god that your arms are not too short that you can reach down and say oh god that your ears are not too dull that you cannot hear the cries and the prayers of your people oh god and lord we just bless your name on today oh god Lord, we ask that you fill those in the house, oh God. Fill us the more with your spirit, oh God. Fill our Facebook viewers, oh God. That you touch our minds and our hearts, oh God. Because, Lord, we know that your word says that as long as we keep our minds stayed on you, God, you will keep us in perfect peace, oh God. No matter what's going on, oh God. Hallelujah. How you have all things in your hands, oh God. Oh God, but how you uphold the whole world in your hands, oh God. But how you've been so faithful to your covenant, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We praise your name, oh God. Even for the blood of Jesus that was shed for the remission of our sins, oh God. And we know there's not salvation in any other. We know there's no other name given under heaven whereby man must be saved. Oh God, that even at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow 
and every tongue shall confess to the glory of God. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Jesus, because you are the way. You are the truth. And you are the life. Hallelujah. Oh, God, Jesus, how you came that we may have life and that more abundantly, oh, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, even on today, oh, God, we are going to walk in the newness of life, oh, God. We are going to walk in the renewing of our minds, oh, God, that the old man be passed away, oh, God. Hallelujah, because our future is in you, oh, God. So, Lord, we just ask, oh, God, and we know that your word says that if you be lifted up, you would draw all souls unto you, oh God. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you move right now, oh God. Move in the land, oh God. Move in our government, oh God. Move in the hearts of your peoples, oh God. Move in those behind the hospital walls, oh God. Move behind those behind the prison doors, oh God. Move on those, oh God, that's even in the NICU, oh God. The little babies, oh God. Lord, I tell you in the name of Jesus, we can't do anything with you oh God so we are pleading the blood of Jesus hallelujah the blood of Jesus hallelujah the blood of Jesus hallelujah the blood of Jesus oh hallelujah the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus oh God hallelujah 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 Oh, God, come in as never before, oh, God. Show yourself mighty and show yourself strong, oh, God. And, Lord, we love you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. We bless your name. Amen, amen, and amen. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my shield, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise. I am saved from my enemies. May God add a blessing to the reading of the word. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah! be reading the statement of faith. We affirm our faith in the Bible, church. We believe that there is one God eternally existent in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God, God the Holy Spirit. I'm sorry. Let's do this over. I'm sorry. Forgive all right, I'm here to do the statement of faith. We affirm our faith in the Bible, church. We believe the Bible, the Bible to be inspired, inspired and only in word of God. We affirm our faith in God, church. We believe that there is one God, eternally existent in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope, church. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the church of God. We affirm our faith in repentance and salvation, church. We believe that the only means of being cleansed from sin is the repentance and the faith in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We believe that regeneration by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ, church. We believe that the redemptive work of Christ on the cross. We affirm our faith in the Holy Ghost, church. We affirm our faith in sanctification, church. We believe in the sanctified power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
life, and this is what we believe. Amen. The, the hymn for today is the Lord is blessing me. Do 
nation around right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy endured forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blessings of the Lord make him rich and add no sorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord. At all times, his praises shall continually be in my mouth. I bless you, God. I bless you, God. I bless you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I exhort you, oh God. I praise you, oh God. I give you thanks, oh God, because you've been so good. You've been so good. God, I want to thank you. Lord, I want to thank you. I want to praise you.
Hallelujah. My name is Sister Austin, and I'm here with your weekly announcements. Our weekly announcements is as follows. We will have our district setup meeting December 16th, and that will be here at St. Timothy, and the time will be 10 a.m. Amen. We will also have our annual St. Timothy Carol experience. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together. Amen. Amen. That will be on December 24th at 4.30 p.m. Make sure you are in the house. Amen. We will also have our district revival that will also be here at St. Timothy. Amen. That's um, December 28th and December 29th, and the time is 7.30 p.m. Amen. Make sure you're here. Amen. Our weekly services is as follows. We have our Sunday school, um, our Sunday school, and that would be at 11 a.m. That is in-house only, so make sure you come on out. Amen. And here's some of these magnificent lessons. Amen. Come on out and learn you something, as they say. Amen. <laughs> We have our afternoon worship service, and that starts at 12 p.m. We have our weekly prayer and Bible band services, and that is at 7.30 p.m. We have our Friday night services, and it is always something different happening on Friday night. Amen. Come on out so the Lord can bless you even the more. Um, and if you find out that by chance you can't be here, you can always donate you can always give you can always be a blessing by using our by going through or giving to our cash app or our givelify amen and that concludes our weekly announcements now say amen to our wonderful praise team
a promise keeping God because the God we serve will bless us if we bless him back. Amen. I am here. I am privileged and honored to introduce our speaker for today. Our speaker is a beautiful woman of God. She is anointed of God. She is a beautiful, uh, uh, beautiful natural mother to her children. Um, she is a beautiful spiritual mother to us all. Um, she is saved. She is sanctified and she is certainly filled with the Holy Ghost. She's an encourager, she is prolific, and she is faithful. This is our beautiful First Lady of St. Timothy Tabernacle, Church of God in Christ. We are blessed here at St. Timothy to have a wonderful First Lady. Um, she is like I said, so encouraging and so beautiful. If you're ever in her presence, you are truly blessed after being with her and around her. Um, so we are honored to hear the word of God from her because we know that she has a word from the Lord and we are excited and ready to receive what the Lord has to speak through her. But before she comes, um, the choir will sing a selection, and after the choir will be the voice of our own First Lady, Lilani Edwards. Y'all give it up for St. Timothy Choir. Uh-huh. Oh, that sound like First Presbyterian down the street. Give it up for St. Timothy Choir. All right. Hey, you brought me through this. You brought me through that. Lord, I'm grateful. I'm going to do it one more time. You brought me through this. You brought me through this. Hey, hey. And Lord, I'm grateful to you. Quiet, could you help me say? You brought me through this. Oh, 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 oh. You did. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful to you. Listen to this. You made a way. Uh huh. Out of no way. And Lord, Lord, I'm grateful to you. I got one more. You are open. That was closed in my face, but right now I can truly say, Lord, I'm thankful, hey, yeah, to you. Why you help me say, you brought me through this. How many been out there and God had to help you out of something? Hey, hey, Lord, I'm grateful. Yes, you did, and you brought me through. Lord, I'm grateful. Al Jones, help me say. Y'all give him a hand. Hey, you brought me through. Lord, I'm grateful. Yes, I am. 
Now here we go. We gonna, I'm going to help the church. You brought me through this. Hey. Hey. You brought me through this. You brought me through this. You brought me through that. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Yeah. Lord, I'm grateful. You made a way out of no way. You've been a friend when there was no one. You came down 42 generations. in the Lord and I owed it to y'all anyway y'all pray for me though I'm a little hoarse No. 
oh, he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the songs don't cease, and if the winds keep on blowing in my life, my soul has been anchored in the love. I'm going to say that again for all of us. Though the storms keep on raging in our lives And sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day But still that hope that lies within is reassured as we keep our eyes upon the distant shore, I know he'll lead us safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the song
anchor. My soul is anchored in the Lord. And for those that don't have their souls anchored in the Lord, it's time. Because there is a storm out over the ocean. And it's moving this way. And if your soul's not anchored, you will surely drift away. Amen. We thank and praise God. Oh, hallelujah for his presence. Oh, hallelujah for his presence of the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. We thank and praise God. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. One more time I get an opportunity to say thank you. And I want you to know how much I appreciate. And hallelujah, how thankful. Oh, how you've given me one more opportunity to say thank you, Jesus. To thank you in front of your people, Lord. Thank you in front of everybody to proclaim your goodness and mercy. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Oh, hallelujah. How you giving us strength, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There's none like you, Lord, that does the things you do. But you're mighty, Lord. You're mighty and strong in battle. There's none like you, Lord. And we give you the glory. And we give you the honor, Lord. And everything that is said, said for your glory. Oh, God, hide me behind your veil. Lord, help me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus to deliver this word, Lord God. Because it is you, Lord. It is you, Lord. It is you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God. You may have your seats. It is a blessing. Oh, hallelujah, to be in the house of God. It is a blessing to have eyes to see, feet to walk, a voice to talk. Oh, hallelujah. It is a blessing. We just want to thank God first and foremost. I thank God that I'm saved. I thank God that I'm sanctified. And I thank God I'm filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. I thank God for my husband, my pastor. Amen. My pastor. Amen. My pastor. Courtney Edward Sr. Amen. I tell you, it's nothing. I was thinking about it even earlier today. I thank and praise God for my pastor and the liberty that he gives to me. Amen. You know what? Some people don't want to give you no opportunity, even in the household of faith sometimes. But I thank God. He said, let the Lord use you. And I thank God for that opportunity. We want to certainly thank God for the elders, Elder Julian, Elder Ortney. Amen. Thank God for them. We want to thank God for our ministers. Amen. amen. Minister Norby. Amen. amen. Minister Donovan. I was about to call Minister Deacon. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> amen. Oh, hallelujah. And we thank God for our deacons because they certainly are moving up. Amen. Oh, they can get up. I almost want to give the mic to you. Amen. But I know God is good. Thank God for Deacon Austin. Amen. We thank God for our mother's board. In the absence of our own mother, Mother Graves. But thank God for our mothers that are here. Mother Fields, our superintendent of Sunday school. And our own assistant mother, Mother Miller. Amen. We thank God for every saint, every person in the household of faith, everyone that is looking on Facebook. We thank God. I don't plan to be before you long, but I thank God for this day. I know it was no one but God that brought us out. And I just want to tell the uh, choir, St. Timothy Choir, if I had known you were singing, I would have probably postponed it because I know Sierra's been going through with some sinus issues. But you know what? All things work together for the good. Our St. Timothy and our own Deacon Diggins, amen, would you say, been this and that, or that and this. But how many of you know, say, I'm still standing. Come on, somebody say, been that or this. Tell me, how's it go? You brought me through this. You brought me through that. You brought me through this. You brought me through that. Oh, hallelujah. I'm grateful. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 
Woo! That alone, hallelujah. Some of these storms want to knock you down. But I know that God will bring us out. Hallelujah. How many of you feel victory in your spirit? How many of you know that I know that I know that God is my help? Oh, hallelujah. He is my strength. Nobody can do you like him. Oh, hallelujah. Now, I want to just confess. Because when Elder uh, Julian was singing this song, what song was that? The Lord, the Lord is blessing me. Oh, that was my that was my baby song. You know what I mean? When I got saved and I was an infant in the Lord, a baby in the Lord, and I start I still remember being in the shower saying, The Lord is blessing me right now. Right now. He woke me up this morning. Oh, started me on my way. He's the one. I be in the shower. I begin to shout. And I never slipped and I never fell. I started speaking in tongues. Oh, hallelujah. Look where the Lord has brought us from. He's brought us a mighty long way. I was scared to tell people about God's goodness. I was scared to testify. I would get in the church and my father-in-law, <laughs> love, he would say, go on and testify of Jesus. I, I'd get sick. I would physically get sick. I'd have to run to the bathroom. But them old saints didn't let you go now. Hey, he let me go on and do me in the bathroom for a few minutes. I thought the service, was, you know, testimony service would be over. I get out there, they out there praising God. I said, oh, Lord. I said, oh, God. My father-in-law said, it's your turn. <laughs> I said, oh, Jesus. And I said, the enemy will try to trick you up. But how many of you got to open up your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. I'm not afraid no more. I don't have that spirit of fear. That enemy wants you to be afraid. He wants you to doubt what God has done. But I want to tell you, I couldn't do it at the church. But when I got home, we drove 80 miles one way to church and 80 miles back to church. And I tell you, I would go in my secret closet. I had a big old closet. Mother, I'd go into that closet and get on my knees and begin to pray and thank God. And do you know, I would even ask the Lord, Lord, send me some trouble because I know you know how to take care of it. Can you imagine? I trusted God so much. And then one day I was saying, well, you know what? I know you can do this. I know you can do that. You done did this. You done done that. I believe you. And I've been able to open up my mouth ever since to tell the goodness of God. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, just a simple verse today. I tell you, I feel like I've already ate. We came from a, another service this morning. We went and surprised our own Reverend Deidre. <laughs> Amen. And she delivered a beautiful word, an awesome word of God. Amen. I was so happy. And I know that, you know, sometimes we got different denominations, different ways on how we praise God, how we do God. But you know what? I, when she was speaking and talking about the Lord, I had to say yes. And you know, I heard my voice and I was probably like maybe three voices was louder in the place. And then I, you know what? I, I kind of said, oh, wait a minute, Leilani, where you at? <laughs> But then I begin to think of God. And I said, I don't care because this is God's house. And you know, they were so friendly. They were so loving. It had nothing to do with the people. But the enemy will have you shut your mouth. He don't want you to praise God. But I've been through this. And I've been through that. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. So... I know that the Lord just kept saying this because, you know, the message always comes to us first. And uh, I just kept hearing this and hearing this. And so this is what I'm going to give you. Amen. 
out of Psalms 46 and 1. I will lift, everybody say it, I will lift up my eyes. Amen. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Amen. We almost could close the book right now. Amen. My help. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All of my help cometh from the Lord. Amen. Been through this, been through that. Had some, even last week I had a report, and it wasn't a good report at all. And if the enemy really wanted to make me cry and make me doubt what God has done, I said, no, no. I don't care what they say. I know my God is a healer. My God is my help. My God is my strength. Amen. And I just wanted to just tell you, we know that in Psalms 46 and 1, God is a refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. We know that when we lift up our eyes, everybody lift your eyes up. You know, I noticed this even in a, and I'm just taking something natural and then to bring it into our spiritual realm. But I noticed how I was a basketball, I was the only girl in the family besides my mother. And so I watched a lot of basketball. I could tell back in them days, I could tell you all about the people, all about those men, all about their statistics and everything. And uh, we would go down to the uh, Market Square Arena. You know, I'm dating myself really for now. But Market Square Arena, and after the game, my, my brothers had me running up the ramp, and honey, I had on my shoes because I thought I was going to be cute. Thought I was, you don't know, never know who you'll meet. I'm running up the ramp now. Look at me now. <laughs> Got to be careful about them heels. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put a plug in that. Be careful about them heels. But nevertheless, I would always notice you can always look over and see the team that is losing. The team that is losing always has their what? Head down. They always have their head down. My dad, Pop Bird, I tell you, I don't know what it is with him and volume on the, on the television. I go over there, and every day I go and see him, and he got the volume down while he's watching the basketball game. And I, went, I said, Dad, he said, I don't got to hear it. I don't, I don't have to hear it. I can look on the player's face, and I can see who's winning, and I can see who's losing. And he said, I like just watching it in silence. And I said, well, <laughs> thank God. But it was true. And I started looking at that, and I said, you know, if you watch it, you will see who's winning and who's losing. But how many of you know when you're in Christ, you never lose? Amen? You never lose. You might lose, maybe it feels like you lost something, but God, the Lord will restore you back. Amen. Sometimes we lose uh, situations. We lose family members. We can lose money, lose a job. Oh, my God, you can lose your health. And God forbid, you can even lose your mind. But it is God that has kept us. How many people said, I've been through this and I've been through that? Amen. And I'm still here. Amen. I don't care what is going on. It says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Amen. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. And somebody needs to really get this. We need to get this in our spirit. We need to get this in our mind. We need to let, let God know that I believe what you say. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. And he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Amen. Amen. I remember I was out, out at a ba um, baseball game because I work with children. It was a field trip. And I went to an Indians game one day. 
Uh, it was hot. I think it was like around, uh, I, it felt like 100 degrees out there. And I thought we were going to be, because they got petitions over your head. I thought we were going to sit there, but, you know, not the city. We had to sit right below there. No covering on your head. So I sat there and I watched the game, but mostly I was watching them children, making sure they stayed in their places and was conducting themselves like they should have. But in the midst of it, I started, I didn't even really feel anything. I just started kind of just getting over extremely hot, but just thinking that if I got something to fan, I would be able to. But I had a young lady that was a supervisor, and, um, and this is what is so sweet. This young lady, she was my supervisor, but she treated me like I was her mother, amen? And so she came to me and she said, um, uh, would you go upstairs and go ahead and go under the thing and get you some water and just, you know, take a break. And I was telling them, no, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm fine. I'm pretty good. And so she insisted. She said, go up, up there to the concession stand. And, and she gave me some money. I said, I don't need your money. I'm fine. And she said, no, go on up. Go on up. I got the children. So she was so determined for me to go. I said, well, let me go on because I don't want to, you know, because I respect her. See, it doesn't matter if your supervisor is 20 years younger than you. you that's my supervisor. Amen. And I never, that's one thing I don't believe. I believe if you, whoever you're working with, you need to be honest and you need to be trustworthy and you need to be fair. You need to, whatever it is, if it's inside the church or outside the church, we need to be honest with each other and we need to treat each other with love and care. The young lady insisted and gave me some money. I went up the stairs and as I was taking my step, my legs began to feel like noodles. I said, oh, Jesus, I realized that I was probably suffering from some, you know, uh, sun, heat, heat exhaustion. And as I was going up the steps, I was calling upon the name of the Lord. I get up, I, I get up, and I'm going one at a time. I look like I'm about probably 90 years old. <laughs> you know, if somebody were to see me, I'm looking like this because I'm like, my, every step I'm taking, my legs feel like noodles. And then all of a sudden, my vision started getting blurry. I get to the top. The Lord blessed me to get to the top. And when I got to the top, I began to uh, just, I said, Lord Jesus, help me. And I backed up against the wall and ended up, I began to call on the name of the Lord. And do you all know that the Lord, he spoke to me. He said, I won't let you fall. I keep, I will keep your feet. And you know what? I was standing there and I know that I was about to collapse. But do you know he didn't let me collapse? And one of my, the young man that came, this young man came and brought a bunch of paper towels. And he began to put it on my face and around my neck. And you know what? The Lord said, take that paper towel and put it in your mouth. And I began to put that paper towel in my mouth and the water began to go down in my mouth. And I tell you, the Lord began to restore me back. Oh, hallelujah. It doesn't matter what we physically are enduring. The Lord won't keep your, let your feet slide. He won't let you fall. If you are his, he won't let you fall. Amen. But you got to look up. And I remember looking up into the, into the past the sun. I said, Lord, I need your help. I need your strength. You know. And I, when I talked to my, my, the young man that brought those paper towels, he said, your eyes was rolling in the back of your head. He said, I knew you were about to just collapse. But how many of you know that the Lord won't let you fall? The Lord will keep you standing. He'll keep you standing when your back and your spine is about to give out. He'll keep you standing if you have knee problems, heart problems, diabetes, or high blood, or low blood. He will keep you. He will keep you. Somebody say, I've been through this, and I've been through that. I've been through that. And I've been through this and never, never have I seen him forsaken me. Never have I seen him say, no, let
say, Lonnie, now I've had a many a no's, but not by Jesus. I've had a many a no's by men, but not by my Lord. Oh, somebody needs to know that Jesus will help you. He'll be your strength. When you're going through things, you know, you think you're going to lose your mind. Some troubles are some real. That spirit will attack your mind. You got a lost daughter, or you got a lost son, a son that's on drugs, a daughter that might be homosexual. Oh, the enemy will attack your mind. But you got to say, Jesus, oh, hallelujah, help me. Now, when you lift up your eyes, it shows to him that I'm not looking at my circumstance. I'm not looking at what I'm going through right now. But I lift up my eyes to whence my help coming from. All of my help, all of my help coming from the Lord. When I rise, I raise up my eyes. I raise up my thought, my thinking process. I raise up my perception. I raise the level of seeing and thinking. I am blessed. You can say that about yourself. I don't care what circumstance you're in. You can say, I am blessed. Don't look at your neighbor. Don't look at your friend. Don't look at your sister or your brother. Because sometimes if we get to looking, that devil get busy. And then you say, well, I, I ain't got that like they do. I don't have that gift like they do. I don't know how they got that, but I don't have that anointing like they do. But you know what? All you got to do is get your anointing. Go through your trials, through prayer, through fasting. Say, Lord, yes, Lord. When trouble comes, don't run from it, but run through it. The Lord said, I'll be with you to the end. Oh, he is faithful. He is faithful. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So many people get in trouble. And they want to start turning and running away from the, the Lord in the house of prayer. But that's your time to run to it. That's your covering. That's your peace. That's your help. There's where you'll find your joy. That's where you got to get to the Lord and say, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. I was, I was just thinking, I said, one thing about it, that we have to have the mind of Christ. The Bible said, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. And you know what that simply means? That I trust God's plan for my life. Amen. And I'm going to give him glory. So when you have gotten a diagnosis, that ain't your last thing. That ain't your last communication. Your communication should be, yes, doctor, what do you say? Mm-hmm. You don't even have to say yes. You say you got cancer. You don't got to say yes. I don't say yes to that because I've been told you got throat cancer. I didn't say that. <laughs> I just said, mm. But you know what? All the time I had. See, that's why I, you carry your Bible with you. But when you don't have your Bible, you depend on this. He said, hide the word down in your heart that you may not sin against God. Amen. Because when you don't trust God. You're sinning against God. If you don't believe God, you are sinning against God. But you know what? When we believe God and we trust God, even when they're saying some negative things at the doctor's office or you're hearing a bad report at the school about your child or maybe you got a phone call at night and it disturbed you, you can say, I will lift up my eyes. I'm going higher because I know a God that can take care of this situation. A lot of times we always want to put the burdens on ourselves, Minister Donovan. But I know who's got the world in his hands. Some people are so disturbed, digging, diggers, about this political thing that's about to go down. But I heard in the word that God, Jesus, has the government on his shoulders. I know he's of peace. I know he's my help. I know he can fix it. I know he's 
a doctor in the hospital. And I know he's a lawyer in the courtroom. I've been to court one day and we didn't know what was going to happen. And I was scared, but the Lord said, go on in there. And hallelujah, we went in there, me and a uh, pastor. And do you know, we just prayed and said, Lord, you got to order our steps. Do you know, they said, go on home. We got a chance, just walk away. We didn't owe no money, honey. I thank and praise God. God is good. God is good. God is good. He knows how to take care of you. Oh, hallelujah. That's why I said, the more folks used to say, thank you, Jesus, for walking. And I had a chance when they said my back had, I had cancer on my spine. Do you know that I'm walking? He will make you walk. He will allow you to get around. Oh, hallelujah. And the other day while we were out of town, I saw a young woman on a walker. And I began to pray for her. But then I stopped. And I said, Lord, I thank you, because it could have been me. I could have been on a walker. I could have been on a cave. I could have been paralyzed. But God, hallelujah, he blessed us. Amen. He is worthy. He's worthy. And I told you I wasn't going to be here long. But somebody just say, he's worthy. I will lift up my eyes. Whatever the circumstance is, whatever the situation is, whatever them doctors say, you don't have to claim it. You believe God's word. And if you believe his word, all you got to do is say, Lord, you'll do it. And then you put your hands together and say, Lord, I thank you. I'm grateful for you. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You done so many things. Kept me from any hurt, harm, and death.
lot of stuff. He said, let's get in the car and go home. <laughs> I got in the car and went home. <laughs> and the car, when he gets in the car, Deacon Diggins, he puts the brake on, the car stops. He drives it up the hills. No, first he drives it over the bridge, over the railroad, over the hills, all the way back to Gig Harbor. I'm looking at, wait a minute. <laughs> Looking now, I'm still crying. I'm still crying, you all. I said, Oh, the Lord saved me. And I said, But wait a minute, why is it? We get all the way home to our apartment building. Pastor pulls it up, looks at me like, <laughs> and as soon as he went to put that brake on to put it in park. The thing jumped the uh, cement, uh, what's those things called? Those blocks. Jumped it. And he had to jump out because there was a, uh, uh, an apartment building at the lower level. And I'm going to tell you, he looked like mighty man because he could see it jumped over the bri uh, those brushes, those uh, shrubbery, and it was heading into that apartment. But do you know he held that? For God gave him the strength to hold that vehicle. So it went, and he somehow the Lord stopped that vehicle from going into somebody that, that young lady's apartment below. Somebody say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus will help you. Jesus will stop there. Jesus will give you strength. You don't think you got strength? You got strength. You don't have to sin. You don't have to wait and say, I want to be married. And they call you on the phone. Don't you be weak to that old devil's scheme. Because he's a liar. Anybody that wants you know how to call you in the daytime. Uh, they need, people need to know that. Don't fall victim. Even our males, don't let them. Yeah, I got something, some, some goodies over here, some cake. I made pie for you. Mess you up. Because I'm going to tell you, your reputation gets messed up. Honey, it's easier to build a city than it is to build your reputation back up. Don't fall victim to this flesh. That's why you got to look up and lift up your eyes into the hills. When that enemy comes and tries to do something, tempt you to do something you say Satan the Lord rebuke you because all of my help 
coming from the Lord. All of my help coming from the Lord. If you know your help coming from the Lord, stand to your feet and say, thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we, we oh, thank God hallelujah. for the message. Our First Lady Edwards did oh, an excellent hallelujah. job. Amen. Thank you. But one of the things that you have to recognize that Jesus is the answer to when you call on his name, he hears us. Amen. But if you don't know Christ Jesus and the pardon your sins, today is your day. All that's on Facebook and all that's watching us on YouTube, you can receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. And all it is is repent. Say, Lord, forgive me my sins. I've done wrong. The Bible says you confess your sins. He is faithful and just to forgive your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that who shall believe is in him should not perish, but have everlasting yes, life. Yes. God then sent his son to the world to condemn the world, but the world the, the Lord loved them the world, but the world through him might be saved. Yes, Amen. Yes. And then it comes down to if thou shalt confess with the mouth of the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead. Who he raised from the dead? Jesus from the dead. And according to the word of God, believe that. That according to the word of God, you believe it by faith. The word of God said, You are what? Yes. Saved. Is there one that says, I'm tired? I'm tired of what I'm doing. I'm tired of things, my life, things not going the right way. But I depend on you to be my help and my strength. Because when you lift up to the eye, your eyes are the heal from where it's coming, your help. He will be your help and he'll be your strength. He's a present help in time of trouble. You never know the situation that you get into, but when you call on his name, he's right there to help you. Amen. Is there one? If those that are on Facebook that, that said, I ask God to forgive me, and you believe it by faith that he's forgiven you, you believe that his son died and rose again, according to the word of God, you are saved. Amen. But we're going to pray for you also that the Lord will continue on touching your heart and soul and bring you into a Bible believing church that teach you the word of God and for you to get stronger in the Lord. Amen. And in the power of his might. We can also pray for those ones that are sick and shed in, Lord God, that, that need situations that in the body, they need healing. Because we know he's an author. He can heal our bodies, amen. And there's nothing to all we do. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for all you're doing. We thank you for your help and your strength. We thank you for being mercy and kind right now by your spirit, by your power. We thank you for those that accept you as your Lord and Savior. That decided that, that they want to choose for their Lord and Savior. They will believe you for your own oh God. They ask you to forgive their sins. And you are able to forgive their sins. Now, Lord, we ask you to touch by your spirit and by your power. Thank you, Jesus. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shoot them right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Look on that backslide, Lord God. Touch their hearts, Lord, and mind. Yes, Lord. Let them come to a statement now of you. God. Let them repent of their sins and say, what must I do to be saved? And receive you as their Lord and Savior of their life. Touch those ones that are sick, Lord God. Yes, that's in the hospital, Lord God. Touch that's Lord. in nursing home, Lord God. Lord, you're able to heal their body only yes, by faith. Lord. And they believe, Lord God, that you can heal their body just by your spirit and by your power. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank you in advance, Lord God. Yes, those Lord. behind prison wall, Lord God. Thank you, touch Jesus. them right too, also too, Lord God. Touch, Lord. Save their soul, Lord God. Oh, and touch them by your spirit, by your power. Thank you're you. able to do, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Save their soul while the blood still warming their veins. While the activities in them, Lord God. Touch right now, your people right now, God. Yes, Lord. Let healing go forth and deliverance go yes, forth. Yes, Lord. According to thy work, with your yes, stripes Lord. we are healed. And yes, we thank Lord. you in advance for what you're going to do. And we give you the glory and honor and praise. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Sometimes I felt that I was all alone. But in those lonely hours, those 
precious lonely hours Jesus loves me as his own in Jesus I learned to trust in God who it all yes. who it all I learned to depend upon His word Amen Thank God for the word from the first lady amen on today amen we thank god for you all watching us on facebook we encourage you all to continue to be a part of our service we also invite you to come in to any service on our tuesday fridays and sunday and we encourage you to come but we want you to know christ's answer to every problem you have and that you need him as your lord and savior because you're going to have to leave here one day. And we want you to make sure you're right with the Lord when you leave here. We thank God for everyone that's watching us. And we ask you to continue on watching us. And we love you, love it, Christ Jesus. And God bless your heart. I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through